Earth is 4.5 billion years old and has changed immensely since its creation. Humans as we know them have changed immensely too, although we have only been around for a fraction of the time the Earth has, around 50,000 years in our current recognisable state. In that time, we have left a bigger mark than any other species. How big will that mark be in the future, and will humans still be the dominant species in a million years? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that looks to answer exactly those. I'm Rebecca Felgate, and today we're imagining the future as we ask, what will the Earth look like in one million years? Of course, asking such a vast and far-reaching question is almost unfathomable. The real answer is, we can't begin to imagine, but let's start with what we know and then move into a few predictions. In a million years, the landscape of the Earth will look different. Before the continents as we know them now formed, a larger landmass existed called Pangaea. This eventually broke up into the seven that we now know today. As tectonic plates are constantly moving, there will be some continental drift over the next million years, although it isn't really a huge amount of time in terms of geology, so the changes in theory wouldn't be too vast. What will be a vast change, however, are global sea levels. We have no accurate idea how climate could change in the next one million years, however, we do know now that sea levels are currently rising, and in in one million years, it is likely that many cities will be underwater, including New York, Dubai and Sydney. Maybe we'll find a way to adapt to that, who knows, but right now, a key part of modern life, electricity, doesn't play too well with H2O. Depending on whether or not the Earth enters another ice age, the new high levels of water could make way for vast icy plains. Of course, if global warming continues, then Antarctica, Arctic regions of Russia and Greenland could become hospitable, freeing up new land for settlement as parts of old continents are lost to the oceans. New land masses will be formed from volcanic activity, such as the future eruption of Lo'ihi in Hawaii. On a slightly less grand scale, Niagara Falls will have completely eroded away into Lake Erie, and the meteor crater in Arizona will have eroded too. It is not just the landscapes that will change in the next million years, time will change too. Lunar tides decelerate the Earth's rotation, which means in one million years, 20 seconds will need to be added to the clock every day. Ok, so here comes the big question, and believe me, it is a question rather than a certainty. Will humans still be around? So far, there have been five great mass extinctions on Earth, the first of which was 439 million years ago and killed 86% of life on Earth. It is a very real possibility that we will all be dead in a million years, be it from war, worldwide pandemic, an anoxic event, or some kind of cosmic intervention. If we are all gone, the traces we would have left to our existence would still be pretty incredible. Dinosaurs left fossils, but we would leave techno fossils, not just our bones, but our buildings and some chemicals that we use to live. Some buildings may stand, others may have fallen, and Mother Nature will have reclaimed the land once again. With trees growing through the centre of apartment buildings, and old abandoned train stations with grass growing over the top of them, flowers may start to spurt out of former factories, until all of our structures are buried somewhere beneath the surface of a new world. What this new world will be home to, I don't know. Humans were the first species to reach a state of intelligence, but that doesn't mean that other species couldn't evolve that way in our absence. Perhaps there would be a new civilization of dogs, or birds, or monkeys, who knows? If we are able to avoid mass extinction and the human population is still thriving, it is likely that we will look completely different to the way we do now. We know that humans evolved from more rudimentary primates over the span of around 200,000 years, and with natural selection and evolution continuing into the future, the humans one million years from now are likely to look like very distorted versions of us today. There is also the exceptionally strong possibility of evolution including technological elements as we fuse our bodies with technology. Maybe we will have all been replaced by robots. Anything is possible. Right now, our population is around 7 billion. If there is no kind of extinction, this could swell to an insane number, perhaps in the tens of billions or more. Running out of space on the land, it is possible that we would build upwards, making use of the airspace on Earth. 
Let's not even worry about how the Earth will generate the resources to feed that many people. Finally, in one million years, I would very much expect life on Earth to have made contact with or have been contacted by other life forms in the galaxy. There is a possibility in one million years there may be more than just humans on Earth, or we could have colonized the skies and the Earth could just be one of many bases for intelligent life. Like how today we travel by plane to visit other countries, we could travel by some sort of aircraft to visit our friends in different galaxies. So I think we had better stop there with this flight of fancy. Suffice to say that the world as we know it will be wildly different in one million years, and our best hope is that our species will live to see it, although there is no guarantee of that. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Life's Biggest Questions. What do you guys think the Earth will look like in one million years? Let me know in the comments section down below. For now, I'm Rebecca Felgate. Remember to stay curious, stay alert, and never ever stop questioning.